Well, coming up this Saturday is going to be the uh, it's going to be the tenth, and there's something here about the tenth of uh, February this year. It's going to be Glusa's birthday. And I tell you, Blues is a, is one of the is another one of the good filmers on the YouTube. And I met him when I had my old channel, and I tell you, he's a great filmer, and uh, he's also a rail fan. As uh, it, it just as well as I am, though I'm also a rail fan, and so is he. He's a big fan of the dark to light rail system, and here it is. They got about now. They got dark has uh, five light rail routes. And uh, cause when I went down there in 1999, Glusos was just 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 a little, just a little boy, and, and actually I didn't even know him back then. And uh, there was what was called the rail version. Which was the rail conference going on down there? I went down there on the Texas Eagle, and of course that was when uh, Amtrak had some engines that almost remind me like the GE C C dash forty fours so that pulled the train. And the Dallas Convention Center wasn't as big as what it is now. In the dark light rail system only had two routes, so and I tell you, I can see why Gloose loves dark light rail because the and the folks at dark <coughs> and the people at dark stage that if they're going to do something such as build another line, they they hop to it and and, and get the job done. <coughs> They they really move and, and get and get the job done and get everything put into place the first time around. So then the uh, so that way people would have even the easier way to get get around Dallas. And one thing what's so neat about when when Bruce goes and films these elevators on the dark light rail system, he is showing. The public, even the the, the the Dallas tourists, that if you show up in Dallas in a wheelchair, get you're gonna find it kind of easy to to get around Dallas, though to be because the stations that are either above grade, more like elevated, or if they're in subway, that there's an elevator that's gonna get the wheelchair. To 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 the uh, rail platform, and Glus has been it goes out and making sure that uh, that everybody knows that uh, each station has, that uh, that either elevated or or in subway has an elevator by filming it. And I tell you, this man is awesome though, and uh, I wanted to see him when I had my old channel though, but. One of these days, I hope to come to Dallas. One of these days again. So, love to go down there on the Eagle. So, just, and it was something else when I went down there, though, that uh, of course I was getting ready to approach the Dallas station. Though, I was looking out the window of the, the train, and of course I saw a uh, School bus pulling up to the tracks. This actually a school bus actually was just sitting there at the tracks, just waiting for the eagle to go by. And it looked more like uh, an Amtran bus, which of course Amtran bought out Ward. I just saw that Amtran bus sitting at the tracks, just waiting for the for, waiting for the eagle to go by.
And I hate to also sell it. The glue, I'll just let you know that uh, we, there's a. Uh, I know you're a real fan, Gloose. So I'll let you know that uh, the old Amtrak station in Kirkwood is still standing. Look, we got some historic groups that's, sta that's doing whatever they could to save as much of the historic buildings as possible. The building at 325 North Kirkwood Road, that building is has been saved and it's going to be there for uh, even by the time you reach my age so you know for all the other elevator filmers get that are very young get to be my age it's going to be that building's going to be around for a long time and same with the Kirkwood Amtrak station that is going to be around for a long time I think there's some historic uh, preservation people is doing whatever they could to make sure that the uh, Developers keep their hands off of those buildings. And now the Shrewsbury Metrolink line is opened, and the and from the Skinker Station to the Shrewsbury Station, all of the stations that do have elevators on the Blue Line, they're all ThyssenKrupp. But of course, I think it's got a little bit of a different chime than than the than the, some of the other elevators that Tissenkrupp has built because of course most of them have the old chimes that they found on the old Dovers. The, <coughs> but the ones on the Metrolink line they say it's got a little bit of a different chime on the uh, the Tissenkrupps on the Metrolink blue line. Now if you want to come up here to St. Louis and see the historic station and we'll drive up. Road best way for you to come up is really to come up 69 to 44, head east on 44, and uh, and get off at uh, get off 44 at uh, Lindbergh, which is Highway 61, 67, and, and then you just and then you turn left once you come off the highway, come off 44 at Lindbergh. And then of course, once you then once you're heading, once you get off the highway and you start heading north on the Lindbergh, you sit, come across the uh, Kirkwood Inn, which has got some modernized Westies in, in that hotel. And of course, and they got a pretty good size uh, hot breakfast over there at that hotel. And that hotel is uh, one of the closest to towards me. And then the uh, hotel, that, and there's also another good hotel called uh, Frontenac Kelton, which is right at Limburg and Clayton. Okay. Oh, happy birthday, Gloose.